Friday, June 8th, 2 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the upcoming unique planetary arrangement where all of the planets are convenient on one side of the sun. They've got 360 degrees to roam. They're going to be sharing 180 degrees, including Pluto and some of the dwarfs. So a unique time. This doesn't happen very often. I did a video back in June of 2017 about this upcoming planetary arrangement. Had multiple people ask if this had ever happened um, in known history. And I looked, I went back actually 120 years. It has happened. It's rare, but it has happened. And I'm going to share those dates with you. And we're going to look at how those dates compare uh, to 2018. And they do share something in common, believe it or not. But first, let's look at the weather and a situation that's brewing in South America. But first, the Cat 4 hurricane in the East Pacific off the southern coast of Mexico. This thing went from a tropical storm to a Category 4 in about 24 hours. That's unheard of. Off the coast of southern Mexico and northern Central America, right here in the East Pacific, there's almost a sea surface water temperature anomaly. The waters here are almost 90 degrees. That's very conducive for the formation of tropical storms and hurricanes and that's what we're seeing however if they move north as this one is and there's uh, another one predicted to form behind this one moving north also at the uh, end of next week they're going to fizzle out because the waters are so much cooler up here so they won't make any type of landfall but that's the first named hurricane in the uh, pacific ocean for the 2018 season you can see it here at my twitter page i simply Shared a tweet from NOAA Satellites. They're looking down the eye of Hurricane Alita. And that is a Category 4 storm moving north into cooler waters, so it won't stay a Category 4 for very long. You can already see one down here off the coast of Central America starting to assemble, where the waters are almost 90 degrees. These waters here are warmer than they are over in the Gulf, which is very, very unusual. Speaking of unusual, I want to show you guys this weird wind system I've been watching down in uh, South America. I saw this yesterday, and I looked at the numbers, and I was like shocked at how strong these wind totals were. They were well over 150 mile an hour yesterday, predicted for Saturday, tomorrow. So I got to looking at them a little closer. Some of these winds are at... Uh, EF5 tornado strength, 232 mile an hour tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. And, and this is subject to change, but right now these numbers are holding fast. Look at that, 230 miles per hour. And those are wind gusts. And that's the equivalency of an EF5 tornado. If you look at the uh, Fujita scale, you can see EF5, 200 plus. And that takes any foundation or any home that's on a foundation off of its foundation rather quickly. The only difference is a tornado will last a few seconds, you know, maybe less than a minute. This is supposed to uh, occur all day tomorrow, beginning tonight, overnight. This is at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Step it forward to 7 p.m. They're still there. Winds of... 200 199 miles per hour that's tomorrow evening at 7 p.m look at that there's two, 202 the wind field expands over 500 miles from just south of santiago luckily it's not over santiago santiago is home to over 5 million people it's just up in the elevations at about 4500 feet these go a lot higher. It's not like it's something that's just occurring up at 11 or 12,000 feet. This is at around 4,500 feet. There are people that live here. So if you know anybody that's there, um, I'm sure they're aware of this. If not, give them a big heads up. They've got hurricane force and tornadic force winds forecasted for tomorrow. In fact, I took some screenshots of some of the wind uh, predicted totals. 233 mile an hour, 232. This is for tomorrow afternoon, around 4 p.m. 2.29, 2.30, 2 just west of San Juan at about 4,400 feet. That's the uh, screenshot I took from yesterday. 
They've increased by a total of uh, 50 miles per hour in strength, 221 mile an hour. Most of the really high winds are concentrated just west and slightly northwest of San Juan. So a very unusual wind event tomorrow in South America. It's just an enormous wind field that expands, once again, over 500 miles. Now back to the unique planetary arrangement. We've been talking about this off and on for a year, July, actually June of 2017. Let's take a look and see if there are any similarities to the years that it's happened um, in the past. I went back just slightly over 120 years. And here are the years that it happened um, other than 2018. And what we're seeing in 2018, what we've seen so far are a lot of things in 2018. But the things that are going on right now that are very significant, um, number one being the volcano eruption on the big island of Hawaii. Uh, Mount Kilauea has been erupting now for over a month, and it's still going strong. Um, we saw a very large, significant eruption in Guatemala uh, that, too, was a very strong historic event. Going back in time, 101 years ago, there was a very significant volcanic eruption in San Salvador, which is just south of Guatemala, less than 100 miles. The volcano that erupted the other day was right here. That's uh, Fuego. The volcano that erupted in 1917 is right here. They're less than 100 miles apart. They both erupted during unique planetary arrangements where the planets were all on the right-hand side of the sun. Coincidence? Let's move on and uh, look at yet another volcanic eruption in 1917. This was in Northern California, near Redding, California. Moving on to 1942, the next time that this event occurred with regard to the unique planetary arrangement. There was a 7.7 or possibly even a 7.9 very large, powerful earthquake in Guatemala. Same place as the volcanic eruption of 1917, 2018. Now we've got a large earthquake to go with those volcanic eruptions in 1942 during a unique planetary arrangement. 1944 saw a large volcanic eruption of Mount Vesuvius, or Vesuvius. And it um, destroyed a city at the base of the volcano over in Italy. And that occurred in 1944, and that was yet another year of the unique planetary arrangements. 1944 saw very large earthquakes, um, an 8.1 in uh, Japan, 7.6 in Turkey, and a 7.0 in Argentina. 1944 was one of those years. So was 1953. 1953, I found a, and again, I just looked up volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. There were probably many other things going on as well. These are the only two things that I researched. 1953 was another one of those years that involved the unique planetary arrangement. 1953 saw the eruption of the volcano on uh, New Zealand's North Island that is currently now starting to show signs of life. It erupted back in 1953 swept away a passenger train. It erupted so quickly. And right now, that same volcano, this article here is dated June the 6th, is starting to show signs of activity. 1953 saw a few significant earthquakes, but nothing like uh, 1944, 7.3 in Turkey. But Turkey saw several earthquakes in 19, was it 44 or 42? 1944 saw three significant earthquakes saw another significant earthquake in 1953. 1982 was the next year of a planetary arrangement, like we're seeing right now in 2018. 1982, Mexico saw the largest volcanic disaster in Mexico's history, yet another volcanic eruption. Much like the one back, of, uh, or back in 1917, this one here uh, left 60,000 people homeless in San Salvador. This was the largest volcanic eruption in Mexico history, El Chichon. So it too erupted during a unique planetary arrangement. So now we have five, five out of five uh, years dating back 120 years, much like 2018 and the volcanic eruptions, 
The only thing I found in 1998 was a earthquake, a fairly significant earthquake for California, a 5.2 in Southern California near Owens Valley. I didn't find any volcanic eruptions in 1998, but all the other years saw volcanic eruptions. Every single one of them, including Mauna Loa in 1942. Mauna Loa erupted almost reaching the city of Hilo. And in 1942, we saw a unique planetary arrangement, much like we're seeing today, and Kilauea is erupting. Right now, Mauna Loa is pretty quiet. But in 1942, during this unique planetary arrangement, it was not. It erupted and almost reached Hilo. So those are the similarities I have right now, guys. I, I did do some research. I did have people ask. Um, there does seem to be a volcano volcanic connection of some sort with unique planetary arrangements where they're all sharing the same side of the sun and volcanoes erupting, especially in the area of Guatemala, Central America, and Mexico. Very interesting. All right, guys, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.